Hi little cuties, this is Amy Cute Charms, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween cupcake. So first of all, you're going to be needing orange clay and black clay. So yep, and you need a cupcake mold and your tools of course. So right here I have all my tools. Maybe you're going to be needing another roller. A toothbrush if you want to get another texture on your cupcakes. And probably that's it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to be using your puppy mold. Which one am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this one. And I want to put the bottom black. So we're going to use the black. We're going to cut a little piece. Put it in here. And we squish it down. Once you get this, you put your top. And I think for my top, I'm going to be putting... You have to condition your clay. This clay is not female and it's a little bit more, more dry, I think. So, yep. It's a little more difficult to work with this clay. I think this one is sculpy. Okay, so now we're gonna roll it. Put a little piece on the center of your cupcake so it doesn't go down with this. And you start doing this. Like that. And you squish it down a little bit. And now you take it on your mold. Carefully so you don't mess up your cupcake. So there's your cupcake. Now I think I'm gonna put a little witch heart. I mean hat. Witch heart. <laughs> a little witch hat. Now we can make a little, like a little cone. Like a little witchy kiss. Something like that. Maybe we can put some purple around to put a little bit of detail on the hat. We need a cutter. Or, oh, uh, or the blade, whatever you want to call it. Now, take it out here. And then you're gonna put it on top of the cupcake. Like this. You can put it, oops, you can put it on the top or you can put it on the side. I think on the side is better. So yep. Something like this. And if you want you can put some glitter to make it a little more shiny. You can put glitter on the cupcake. And there is your cupcake, your witch cupcake. And then you can put your eye pin and bake. And that's how you make your cupcake. So yep, thanks for watching, little cuties. I hope you like it. Bye. Hi, little cuties. This is Danny Cute Charms. And today I'm going to show you how to make a brain cupcake for Halloween. So let's get started. First, you're going to be needing black clay and glow in the dark clay. And you need a, a little cupcake mold. And then you need, believe it or not, you need something to texture the brain. So I use this. So let's get started. First, we're going to put our black clay in the mold. We're going to press it down. All the way, all the way. <laughs> there. And then we're going to take a big chunk. Well, first let's clean our fingers because we have black clay. 
and then we have to take a big chunk of block in the dark clay. And I'm just sure this. Put it on top. We're gonna press it down just a little bit to make a little, like a little tiny brain, and then so done. Then we're gonna grab our things to make the texture for the brain. We're gonna press it down just like that, and you see all this texture. So done. Then you can take your knife or your blade. We're gonna make a cute little lines for the brain. Just be creative, you don't have to be. And I just make this, that's it. And there's our brain! Now we're gonna take it out of the mold very carefully. Without damaging the cake, the cupcake, there. And we're gonna place a little bit more. We're gonna put this up. Super cuteness. I don't know if I need some lighting here. There. Much better. And then, believe it or not, to make my blood, I'm just using... Keep this out. I'm just using Sculpey liquid. Translucent liquid scooping. And then for the coloring, I'm using food coloring. Red food coloring. So that's what you're gonna need. You can use any, maybe like pastels, or acrylic paint. Well, and then, we're gonna put our blood. Ooh. Very nice, the brain. Nice, the brain. Don't do it like that. There. And then, we're gonna put or head pins, whatever you want to use. I like to use head pins because the eye pins, they always fall in and getting out. But of course, it's going to be easier if you put the eye pin first instead of the blood first because you're going to press it now. But I have another one here. Yay! Lifesaver! And there. You can put your eye pin like that. And then put your blood. Your blood on top. Like a brain. Like a brain in the rain. And there's your brain cupcake. And you bake for 15 minutes to 50 degrees. And there's your brain cupcake. I hope you like the little chibis. And give it a try, it's not too hard. Bye, little chibis. Hi, chibis, I'm back. And I already baked my cupcakes for 15 minutes at 275. So this is the final result. This is the brain cupcake. I'm gonna put the lights. Put the light on. And this one glow in the dark. The brain cupcake. And you can really see the texture on the brain and the blood. And I already glazed my pieces. If you don't want sticky pieces, you have to mix your three foot thick really, really well so you don't get sticky pieces. So this one is, I don't know, I'm gonna show you. There it goes in the dark because this is not dark right now. And then I did the other one. The other brain. Whoa! And then I have that witch hat brain, um, cupcake. That's how it looks. And then, I have this one, just with sprinkles, Halloween sprinkles, orange, white, and black, it's a cupcake. And then I did this eyeball, and this is translucent clay, and I put blood in the cupcake and the eyeball on the top. Super cuteness, and spooky. And then I did this one with a long, long tongue. Super nasty. Yay, woo And I textured the tongue. So you can really see like a real tongue right there. <laughs> Nasty! Yep. So these are my Halloween cupcakes. And I hope you like it and try to make them. It's super, super simple. And you can be you can be even more creative than me. So thanks for watching, Mini Chibis. I hope you like my tutorial. Bye!